This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Give yourself options online. Go to NordVPN forward slash top tens or use code top tens at checkout and get a two year plan with a huge discount plus one additional month for free. And let's get into it. The myths of the ancient world still inspire us today in literature and in pop culture. We tend to take it at face value that what history calls myth is nothing more than that. While there are those who firmly believe that every myth has a basis in reality, there's little done to investigate that claim and prove whether it's true or false. Sometimes it does happen that we come across evidence proving that an ancient story wasn't just a flight of fancy by someone writing fiction. Number 10. Amazon Warriors One of the most popular and enduring myths from all of Greek mythology is that of the Amazon Warrior. In fact, the idea was so popular with modern sensibilities that the character of Wonder Woman folded that mythology into her origin. According to tales, this was a society of warrior women that lived in Asia Minor or modern-day Turkey. They fought with a power and ferocity to rival any man. For years it was believed that these were just fanciful tales, and the idea of an entire society of female warriors was all but absurd. How could they survive without men? How could they rival other armies in battle? Well, that's something for anthropologists to work on, since it turns out that the Amazon warrior women were totally real. Archaeological evidence discovered in Russia indicates these warriors existed and were likely Scythian nomads. Researchers discovered the grave of four women warriors buried alongside their weapons in 2020. They rage in age from perhaps 40 to 50 years down to a 12-year-old. Prior to the actual bodies being discovered, many modern historians believed that Amazons were metaphorical rather than literal. They were Persians, or even just stand-ins, that were put in stories to make Greek warriors look better. And as you might expect, others believed that they were invented by Greeks as a way to demonize women who did not follow what was considered to be the societal norms of the time. Real Amazons roamed the areas from the Black Sea to Mongolia. They may have been among the tribes that the Great Wall of China was built to repel. Homer in the Iliad wrote the first myths about them, and it's likely there were also men in the tribes, and many of the myths were exaggerated and fictionalized, but they were clearly based in some fact. Number 9. The City of Troy Troy was one of the most famous cities from Greek mythology, and has been immortalized on film numerous times over the years. Everyone knows the story of the Trojan horse and how the great warrior Achilles fought Prince Hector of Troy and suffered that fatal ankle injury. The story has everything that makes a great myth, enough to make it seem like none of it could be true. While the idea of the Trojan horse is definitely a suspect one, and it's unlikely any great warrior was all but immortal save for his ankle being vulnerable, Troy was a real place. It was in the 19th century when German archaeologist Heinrich Schleimann discovered the ruins of what he identified as the ancient city of Troy in modern-day Hisarlik in Turkey. His methods were not as scientific as they could have been, as he chose to use dynamite for the excavation, which likely damaged a lot of historically significant artifacts. The city of Hisarlik was identified as the location of the mythological Troy for thousands of years, but it was generally dismissed as being a city of the same name rather than the same city from Homer's The Iliad. One of the problems in identifying it is that the city was routinely destroyed and then rebuilt on the ruins. There is evidence of at least 10 cities being built on the same site, which could have all been called Troy, but not necessarily have been the same Troy. Number 8. Giant Squid Some of the hardest myths to take seriously are ones about monsters and giant beasts. Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, and El Chupacabra are all likely very much rooted in the realm of fiction. One creature long thought to just be the fanciful imaginings of sailors that turned out to be real, however, is the giant squid. Giant squid can reach sizes of at least 33 feet and weigh over 400 pounds. The largest specimen discovered weighed nearly a ton and was 59 feet long. While stories of these creatures have existed for centuries, the first photographic evidence that they were real, living things, didn't exist until the year 2004. Because of the depths at which they live, they're rarely seen, and because they're the largest invertebrates on Earth, stories of them were easy to dismiss before evidence was discovered. Any sailor who claimed to have seen a 60-foot-long one-ton squid would easily be dismissed as just telling a tale. Two years after Japanese researchers first photographed one of these beasts, a live specimen was caught and brought to the surface, though it was a relatively small specimen at 24 feet. Number 7. The City of Tanea If you know the history and myths of Troy, you may also know of the city of Tanea. Rumored to have been built by Trojan prisoners of war, Tanea was the place King Agamemnon allowed them to have as their own. Obviously, if Troy's existence was the stuff of legends, then the city built by its prisoners 
would be just as suspect. But archaeological evidence suggests that this place was also real. Greek archaeologist Eleni Korka discovered the city, which was famously mentioned in the story of Oedipus and others in the Peloponnese region of Greece. Located between Corinth and Mycenae, it was a large and prosperous city that seemingly vanished without a trace. Archaeologists had been hunting for the site since 1984. Locals had discovered a sarcophagus unlike any that had ever been discovered, and the search was on. By 2010, Corker was working with police to stop smugglers who had been looting treasures from the area, which still hadn't been narrowed down to a place that could be legally and properly excavated. The looted statues proved the city did exist somewhere, though, and by 2013, she had permission to dig. Since that time, numerous other sarcophagi, coins, roads, relics, and more have been uncovered. Number 6. St. Francis of Assisi's Bread Sack The Friar of Fellini in Italy is home to a curious relic that no other church can lay claim to. According to legend, in the year 1224, St. Francis of Assisi sent them a bag of bread from France. It was hand-delivered by an angel. The cloth bag stayed in the friary for 700 years, reduced to little more than fragile scraps of cloth, and the story survived along with it. The monks allowed researchers to analyze the fragments, test to confirm that the fragments date back to some time between 1220 and 1295. There was also evidence of agosterol on the fragments. Agosterol is a kind of fungus that is known to grow on bread, and it indicated that at some point in time there was likely bread in the bag as well. Obviously, there isn't a test to determine whether an angel delivered the bag to the friary, and its providence would also be impossible to nail down, but the timeline does check out, as does the nature of what it was. As for the rest, though, that's probably just a matter of faith. Now, just before we get into the top five today, we've talked about the benefits of VPNs before. This is in the 1990s. There are people out there looking for your data, bad actors trying to steal your personal information, corporations tracking your browser activity and bombarding you with ads. No one needs any of that. NordVPN is super fast, so watching video is a breeze. There's no lag whatsoever. If you've used VPNs and thought they were slow in the past, well, no more with NordVPN. And you can use it on all of your devices very easily. Android, Chrome, Windows, Linux, and on six different devices with just one account. Also, there's no logs kept, unlike companies based in the EU or the US. NordVPN is over in Panama, so they don't have to keep logs at all, which is great for your privacy. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash top tens or use code top tens to get a two-year plan with a huge discount, plus one additional month for free. And let's get back to the video. Number five, the seven pagodas of the Mahabalipuram. According to the myths of Mahabalipuram, there were six temples beneath the sea alongside a seventh, which had long existed and was declared a world heritage site on the shore of a city both large and beautiful. So beautiful, in fact, that the gods grew jealous and sent a flood to destroy it all. It's the kind of story that, of course, sounds like fiction. That is, until a tsunami changed things. In 2004, an earthquake and subsequent tsunami in the Indian Ocean caused the coast to recede near Mahabalapuram Temple in India, revealing the ruins of the legendary city. Whether it was a seaport or a temple is a matter for debate, but the most significant find right after the tsunami was a large stone lion that dated back to the 7th century. Ironically, it's believed that a tsunami destroyed the site in the first place. Number 4. The Polkai Haast Seagull If you've never heard of the Polkai, you're not alone. This New Zealand cryptid was said to be a giant bird capable of carrying a human being off and devouring it. Scary stuff when you think about it and definitely the kind of thing that you wish was not real. Unfortunately for some of our ancestors, it looks like this creature was very much a real thing and would have been extremely menacing to see it swooping down from the skies. Fossils of a creature called Haast's eagle found in 2009 show a bird that was around 40 pounds in weight with a wingspan of 3 meters. It's believed that it would have preyed on large flightless birds like moas around 500 years ago and likely would have been more than capable of picking up a small child and flying away with it. Females of the species would have been twice as large as the largest eagles that exist today, and the giant talons were sharp enough and strong enough to pierce not only flesh and muscle, but sink right into bones to lift prey from the ground. Because New Zealand has no native land mammals, this bird would have been the top of the food chain and the most terrifying thing the locals had ever seen. Number 3. The Hittites The Old Testament frequently mentions the Hittites and their conflicts with the Israelites. For many years, their kingdom was one of the most powerful in all of the Middle East. It's said that they were a military force to be reckoned with. They even 
Sweden had progressive laws and rights relative to the time, and their lands spanned over 600 miles from the Black Sea to Damascus. Despite how powerful they seemed, this nation faded so thoroughly from history that by the 19th century, most scholars believed their existence to be nothing more than myth due to the lack of historical reference outside of the Bible and the lack of archaeological evidence. In the year 1812, Johann Ludwig Burkhardt was traveling through Syria and discovered some writings that didn't match any hieroglyphs that he recognized from anywhere else in the world. For the next several decades, other explorers and researchers ventured to the same area, and in the year 1880, someone finally declared with authority that what they discovered was the land of the biblical Hittites. Number two, Viking sunstones can really be used to navigate. One of the many remarkable legends of the Vikings that have survived in the modern day, one of the most interesting yet hard to believe, is about how they navigated their boats. It was said that they had a magical stone known as a sunstone that could be used to navigate even in the stormiest weather with the sun nowhere in sight. The rock itself would show where the sun was and allow them to navigate accordingly. It sounds preposterous, but perhaps it wasn't. In the year 2013, a crystal was found in a shipwreck from a British vessel that sank in 1592. Not a Viking ship by any means, but the crystal gives credence to the Viking legend of the Sunstone. The crystal was something known as an Icelandic spar, which has the curious characteristic of rhombohedral calcite crystals. If that sounds like gibberish to you, what you need to know is that these crystals are able to refract light in a way that, when the crystal is aligned east to west, it creates a single clear image within it. When it's moved in another direction, you get a fractured image. Even in low light, this is able to work, which would allow navigators to determine their heading east or west even when no sun was present. Number 1. Strengthening Weapons with Spirits of the Dead There's a lot of misinformation and bluster surrounding the history of the Vikings, but it's safe to say that they were formidable warriors when they threw down and they were feared by their enemies. How they went about achieving this reputation is more interesting than many realize, including the Vikings themselves. It's said that the Vikings would imbue their weapons with the spirits of the dead in order to make them stronger and even more deadly in battle. On the surface, that sounds like total fiction. There is evidence throughout the region of ancient smiths used by the Vikings, including bones of humans and animals. While on the surface you could say that forging a weapon in a fire made from the body of one of your victims was a way to put the spirit into the blade, in reality the practice was imbuing carbon into to the iron while it was being forged. Essentially, this was creating one of the earliest forms of steel, which was unknown at the time and would have made them superior to pure iron weapons. Archaeological evidence suggests that smiths may have taken bones from burial mounds so that the strength of ancestors could be added to the blades. Their understanding of what was happening was not accurate, but the end result was the same a much stronger blade. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our fantastic sponsor, NordVPN, link below. And thank you for watching.